Hey, yo, what up, though? It's your boy Giuliani with a whole nother video. And today, y'all, I'm going to lace y'all up with uh, some know-how. And if you're having trouble with um, your Suburban and it won't start. So basically, I had a um, no crank, no start issue. I wasn't getting any juice. All the lights came on. But I wasn't getting any crank sound or anything when I'm turning my key. With that instant, what I had to do. Because first things first, I had to make sure that the key, everything was working. So, that led me, that led me straight here. And when I wasn't getting any sound, Then I went to this PC. That's where I went. Yeah, so this 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 fuse right here, PCMB, was actually blown out, and that's why I could not turn. I couldn't turn it. So I had to I had to replace that fuse. And when I placed that fuse, I just got the starter sound. So it was starting. I did diagnosis on the starter connection. The starter was working, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, throttle body, everything was getting bad. But I, I, I did take a listen to this area here. And then this is where I discovered what was happening. These are the tools that I needed in order to perform this. Screwdriver, like a mallet. You can use a regular hammer, and then also a a um, um, a razor blade, basically like kind of like a cutter, and then also a metal cutter. So now let's just get this stuff out of the way. And for you all that don't know, for a 2003 Chevy Suburban. Your fuel pump is located right there. It's about right here, y'all. You know, it's about right here. And what I did is 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 gonna be something that I I suggest to to uh, Chevy Suburban owners to modify your vehicle. Now it already has a natural indentation of the carpet. So what I did is I wanted to keep everything true. And so what I did uh, is I used the razor blade to cut into this, this particular part, part here. Then I also cut the razor blade on this particular part here so that we could actually do this like that. And then I cut the razor blade also here to bend this back. And as you can see, it's the perfect little spot here. And you can see where you need to cut a little bit right above that. These these little, I don't know if you can see it. This is right here where the stud is. This is where the frame of the vehicle is. So I didn't want to cut that far. And then also down here. So when we get this all done, let me try to get this up here. Okay. Then you can see exactly what's going on all right so this is the fuel pump and if you don't do the cut if you don't do the modification you can also have somebody change the, the uh, turn the key to the on position and to here to see if you actually hear the fuel pump come on that'll let you know before you have to actually get this all done this usually is something that you would have to drop the fuel tank and uh, uh, maybe drain the fuel out of there. Long procedure usually takes about two and a half hours. But this right here has a steady modification that you can get this done in at least 45 minutes. I also went and got the part. This part, this fuel pump, comes from AutoZone. It's about $300 at AutoZone, but it has a lifetime warranty. And now with a lifetime warranty, and also auto zones in the majority of the major cities, I feel like my travel definitely could be done a lot better uh, knowing that if I did have a fuel issue, that this would happen. 
um, that I um, um, uh, I knew that that would happen or if I had a fuel issue, sorry, that I could actually get it done quickly. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so, so uh, this is how I did it. And like I said, I did it with those three tools and I, and, and I, and I got it done in less than an hour. So like I said, uh, for you all to, to kind of get this done, um, there are some things to, to know this, these two gas lines, you can't get these mixed up. They, they fit accordingly. These two gas lines are about an inch lower than this frame. So make sure that when you're actually cutting it, that you just see that black or you see that black then you better stop, okay? Because then you might hit something essential. These other wires here that are on the top, they run up underneath that, that frame that I pointed up with those dots that were beaded up under there. So it seems to be pretty much well out of the way. Um, just as long as they put a proper install in there, then you should still be okay. Um, yeah, so that kind of sums it up. Quick in a hurry to let you all know basically what it is. Um, uh, turn that key. I uh, I use another person to put their head down here turn that key to the on position if you don't hear anything juicing down there uh, then it's most likely this thing right here so I suggest you all go get a um, um, a lifetime warranty you know what I'm saying and then make this modification so that fuel pumps are not an issue hey it's your boy Giuliani if you like then subscribe uh, leave comments below if you want me to do anything else or if you got questions on anything else just let me know okay because I know how this stuff is but yeah this is how it is this is how it be this is how it was uh, all day